Okay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Tacoma SRT5 coming back at you today. Uh, today I'm going to review a product that I bought from Harbor Freight quite some time ago. I want to say it was maybe a year or two. But it's been on my shelf ever since, and I've used it a lot. Um, maybe about eight years ago, I did a car trailer with it. It's this truck bed coating, iron armor, item number, come on, focus, 60783. And I'm making a seat back for my golf cart here. And this is just plywood. I've gone over it with the truck bed coating. It's a textured surface it's kind of sprays like really thick paint um, and if you spray further away it makes it more textured but I didn't want it too textured and I just didn't want the water getting in so it's it seals off pretty well just a regular piece of plywood this trailer is uh, four by seven so this is the extra foot from that sheet been in the garage ever since so that's what we're going to do it's nice and sealed up um, I'm going to go over this whole trailer with it not with a single can but that's got to go get more the trailer's pretty old um, but yeah I had a I had an 18 foot car trailer with a I think it was a three foot tongue and I went over the entire thing with several coats of that truck bed coating and uh I was satisfied. It looked good. It looked sharp, you know, and I redid the wheels white and, you know, went over the whole trailer and fixed it all up. And uh, shortly after that, I had a vehicle no longer pass inspection. This is when I was living in New York. The, um, the whole car was just rotten on the bottom side. It was all rusted out. And the junkyard that accepts scrap and cars and whatever did not accept tires. So they would allow you to take the tires off, or in my case, we just took the tires off the car, jacked the car up high enough, and drove back the trailer underneath, and then used the winch to winch it up on the trailer. And then when we removed it off the trailer, they uh, had a hook on the back end of a big machine, and they just dragged it right off. And i got to say, I'm really pleased, because although it was a Geo Metro, not very heavy, it was every piece of scrap that I could find in, in and around the garage and uh, from coil springs, old uh, cooling fans, from you know wa water pumps, anything. The, it was about loaded up to the windowsill, the entire car. And uh, they dragged it right off. We dragged it on and it didn't have any scratches. Now, I can't account for what you may or may not experience, but... I'd say that's a very solid product. I'd give it a very good review. Uh, five out of five stars as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's very resistant to a lot of things. I've used it in the bed of my truck as a spray-in bed liner. Uh, it sticks a little better if you sand or scuff the, um, the bed with like a, a sandpaper or a scuff, scuffing shoot. I can't think of what it's called. Uh, scuff pad. Anyway, uh, the only thing I found was I was at the time uh, about a year or so ago in my pickup truck. I had a Power Wheels, and I was cleaning the electrical connection with uh, either Electromotive or um, Electronic Cleaner, one of those products there and it ate the truck bed liner right up like it just turned into liquid into my hand so rather than touching it anymore once I realized it was soft I left it because that chemical evaporates very quickly and then all I had in in the truck bed was just a big fingerprint kind of smudge so I give that product a 5 out of 5 or a 10 out of 10 it sprays very nicely um, when I put it away, when I'm done, I leave, I just stop spraying and I put it up. And then before I start using it the next time, I use my fingernail and I just scratch what's dry off the nozzle so it sprays clean again. Um, great product. I'd use it again and again. I'm going to go over the golf cart in a few spots to uh, prevent rust and, you know, make nice. And uh, I guess that's it. 
hope you all enjoy this video and hope this helps you out somehow. This is Tacoma SRT5. Have a good day.